hey what's up guys welcome to a new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to global dodge and burn and i'm going to be using an image by wally visuals he's also a youtuber slash photographer i'm going to leave a link to his um, instagram page and to his youtube channel in the description below right so i've already retouched this image as you guys can see this is the before and this is the after before after okay so now what i'm going to do is to dodge and burn this image right so what we're just going to do is we're going to create two curves adjustment layer so we'll come here are curves one and we'll get the second one okay so we're going to name the first one burn and we'll name the second one dodge right okay so what we're going to do now is for the dodge we're just going to come here and we're just going to click on the middle the center right and we're just going to pull it up as you guys can see the image is like really brightening up okay and then we're going to invert the layer mask to hide on mark its command i and on pc it's ctrl i okay now we'll come to the burn layer and we'll do something similar but instead of dragging it upwards we're going to drag it like downwards so we'll just click on the middle again and just drag down as you guys can see and what does this do the image becomes darker so what we're going to do again is we're going to invert the layer mask command i okay so let's just group this layer and name it dodge and burn right okay so what i like to do is i like to turn off the retouch layer and do my dodge and burn based on the actual original image so i'll just turn off the retouch layer and now I'll come to my i like to dodge first so i'll come to my dodge i'll pick up my brush tool set my flow all the way down to two percent right and make sure your hardness is set to zero and you just increase your brush size accordingly to what the area you're trying to dodge okay so as you guys can see i'm going to dodge the light parts of the image the highlights and i'm going to burn the shadows right so okay now i'm going to dodge this area this area this area under here yeah and yeah right okay so i'm just going to like go through this area very very easily and i'm also going to come here just go through this area and this area and also here right and here too and here on our neck as you guys can see there are some highlights here and here too right so you don't need to overdo it just like just go through it you guys will see the difference once we're done so now i've done that let's see the difference before after right so now I'll come to our bond layer and now we're going to like work on the shadows right so we'll just go over the shadow areas right like so right Okay, and I'm going to come back to Dutch because I didn't really work on a nose here. So I'm just going to go over that. Okay. So let's just close the group now. 
okay now let's turn on our retouch layer okay and as you guys can see this is the before after before after right can you guys see like it just has like this depth to the image and now once you've turned it on as i can see i didn't really go over some areas here so i'm just going to come to my bond layer i'm just going to pick up my brush again increase the size a bit i'm just going to burn here in you know just to blend it in a bit more right right okay so this is before dodge and burn after the and burn can you guys like see dodge and burn like does a whole lot to the image like isn't this just way better than this this looks like this image looks good but it just looks flat do you guys understand so when you just like introduce dodge and burn into it global dodge and burn into it you just have like a way 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 better image right so i hope someone was able to learn something today and you know this just shows you guys that dodging and burning is not as difficult as you think even when you want to dodge and burn to like even out skin tones it's really not that difficult and probably my next video would be on that so you guys should stick around for that um if you like this video please do like subscribe drop a comment down below on what you think and something you would like me to do next and i'll see you guys in the next one